Hello, and uh, hopefully you are hearing me loud and clear, and uh, welcome to another live stream. And uh, as usual, going to wait for a few of you guys to come through, and uh, we can get chatting and getting on with uh, what we've got in store tonight. So uh, yeah, as promised, we are going to be doing a bit of retro gaming. And uh, the retro console that we're going to be trying out tonight is the Super Nintendo, the uh, the classic mini. And uh, my missus is going to be joining me tonight, aren't you? A bit of a Mario Kart, so it uh, should be well, if, a... if you want to laugh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to laugh. No, you do like a bit of Mario Kart, though, don't yes, you? Yes, I know I do, but I can't play it. <laughs> well, I must admit, I'm not that good. I'm a bit rusty. It is fun, though, when you get into it. It is a good game, isn't it? It doesn't matter about the graphics. The gameplay on it is great. So... Uh, Let's see, have you got anyone coming through there? Because I can't see yeah. it at the moment on my Mine's iPad. It's not loading for some reason. Yeah, I'm having problems with it coming up. Oh, was, oh the TV shop as well. That's it. That is a great start to the live stream there. So let's just knock that straight back on. Tell you what, I'm going to go off and come back on again. And it's uh, spinning. Is it going to boot up? Yeah, there we go. Right. So, yeah, there we go. We've got our little console just down here. Uh, and it, yeah. look at it. It's absolutely tiny. Just got it connected uh, directly to the TV via a uh, USB cable to power it. So, uh, yeah, it's nice and simple. And it's quite cheap, wasn't it? We've had it quite a while as well. Yeah, it wasn't very but, um, expensive. I'll tell you what, let's just knock it on a sec. Hopefully that should be it. And it should be turning on. Hopefully you guys can hear me fine, and uh, if you can't, let me know in the comments section. We're trying out something different tonight with a couple of microphones, because we've had a few issues with microphones recently and cables and things like that. So, uh, yeah, if there is any problems crackling, hissing, or you can't hear one of us properly, then please let me know. So let's turn on the amplifier as well. Are you getting anything come up? On? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Because I can't seem to... Uh, let me just grab my iPad a second. A little bit disorganised tonight. Oh, blimey. There you go. Sound's on. So, where is... On my live... On my iPad, I can't... Can you get it up on there, please, a minute? What's up? The stream so I can see what everyone's saying. And, uh, yeah, of course, we'll be testing out some uh, different drink this evening and the uh, drink of choice tonight we are going for a cider so this is a Thatcher's vintage I'm going to turn that down a bit there that's what I'm trying to do in chance <laughs> and I do like a bit of cider as if you uh, joined me last week on the live stream I want that keen on that one what was that it was um is yeah. it something like Bulldog or some, Bulldog, something like that? Um, I can't remember. It, it was something, something similar to yeah, that. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't that nice, yeah. that. Let me just get rid of that off the screen. There we go. So let's grab the iPad and see what you guys are saying on there. So yeah, this uh, wasn't really planned, was it? So I uh, didn't have time to give you guys the heads up on what we were doing tonight. So... Uh, what we've got, I'm in New York. Uh, can't wait until early 2022 when the uh, Mini Amiga. Yeah, I, I, do you know what? I totally forgot about that. I was only watching a programme the other night about Amiga and uh, yeah, I'd love to get one of those. Um, love the show. Hello from Greenland. So yeah, so I'm guessing you can all hear me loud and clear. If you can, please... Uh, let me know in the comment section that it's all good. Like I said, they are new mics, so hopefully I've got them all set up all good. But anyway, I'll tell you what, let's get this drink open, shall we, before we crack on. I can't wait to try this out. Ain't played it for ages, have we? No, no, got to be last year. Yeah. We certainly haven't had it out this year, have we? No. It's not our time. Yeah, and it's funny talking about like old consoles and that, because we were talking about them last week, obviously, and the week before. That's why we said about doing this. And sadly, um, the guy who came out with the um, ZX Spectrum, uh, Sir Sinclair, 
uh, passed away the other day, which was a shame because the bloke was a great inventor. And uh, yeah, I'm looking at now getting one of the old consoles, maybe get on the channel, it should be a laugh, hooking that up, the old tape deck on it. Oh, that's lovely, that. Oh, that is very nice. So yeah, if you are just joining us, that is what we're drinking tonight, Thatcher's Cider. And uh, fun fact for you, um, Thatcher's is literally just down the road from us, isn't it? Yep. Literally, we drove past there last night, didn't we? Well, oh, give it up. Good and, smell uh, breath. You can actually go to Thatcher's, uh, the factory itself, and buy cider directly, can't you? Yeah. Quite so, expensive. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite expensive. But yeah, it's literally just down the road from us. So uh, yeah. And it tastes the, like normal cider. Oh, it? I think that tastes nice. That nice I've and had cider a nice long time and sweet. Now. I like a sweet cider, not a dry cider. So yeah, if you're just joining us, we are doing some retro gaming tonight. So sorry if I'm repeating it for anyone who's been watching from the start. So that's what we got there: the Nintendo Classic Mini going to be doing a bit of Mario Kart as you can see we've got it all hooked up and I'll tell you what I'll just show you guys something quickly before I get back to the comments section there interesting enough if we actually got to the settings or options there we've actually got a screen burning reduction so uh pretty handy to have uh seeing though we are playing this on an OLED so I thought that was pretty interesting there we go go back there so let's have a quick look at the comments then, and then get on a bit of gaming. Oh, and as well, something else we're going to be doing tonight is uh, telling you guys about a list of TVs that we've been given, as uh, you guys have been requesting more TVs for me to test out, and clearly, clearly the guys at box.co.uk have been listening, because they got in contact with me, uh, with me and uh, give me a long list of TVs to test out, and uh, I'll be asking you guys which one you think I should try out next. So uh, stay around for that and, you know, give me your input. So uh, how are you, Paul? That's from so Amy Frazier. I, I tell you what, I need to get some glasses, I swear. My dad likes beer. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Samford, and they've got a good pub there. Yeah, funny enough, there was a pub. There was an ambulance outside that pub, wasn't it, last night? Yeah. <laughs> um, go OLED or go home. Best tech channel, thank you very much. Um, oh, did you play It Takes Two? Do you know what? I forgot about that. I'll tell you what, take note of that. We're going, we will check that out. So, yeah, thanks for reminding me. We'll uh, definitely get around to checking that out. Um, what else have we got here? Freddie Mercury, hello, Mr. Giant, hello. And uh, again, we've got Super Chat on there, don't forget. So if you want to prioritize a question or anything like that, then you can do and support the channel at the same time. So I'll tell you what, do you want to uh, have a go of Mario Kart? And I've got my son over there. Do you want to have a go on Mario Kart? Do you want to quit, have a quick game with your mum? And I can, yeah, you can. You get on there first before I do. And uh, we'll let these two have a quick go. I'll then stand behind the camera. I can read your comments at the same time. You can see what it's like on this TV. I'll tell you what, one thing, yeah, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I it was one you. thing about this, obviously the graphics aren't amazing or anything like that, but what makes it really pop is the black bars down the side. Looks really nice, doesn't it? It's really, really sort of like highlights the image in the middle there. Look at these games, quality. Proper good. So come on then, you two. Let's have you over here. So yeah, this is the over little where? console. Yeah, you're gonna have Don't to. Don't tell me I've got to stand up. Yeah, these are wired. I mean, like, come on. What? Let me just show you there. So yeah, it, you know, proper retro stuff <laughs> on a cable there. Oh, so come no. on. No, you've got to come to I'm it. Not you know. On this... camera doing it. So what I'll do, I'll move the camera a bit closer. There's one for you. Um... I'm standing behind. <laughs> right. Let's right. Let's move this round here then. And uh, let me know, do you want the lights on or do you want the lights off? He's got the main I always say that there. to you, don't I? Do you want the lights on or off? Because our mine's not doing anything. Oh. Right. Was that uh, me or you? <laughs> sorry about this. There we go. 
You know, let's just knock the lights off a sec, see what that looks like. Oh, there we go, I've got is it. Is that any better like that? Please let me know. What well, one's normally the best one? It's battle mode, isn't it? Is it battle mode that's normally the best? Um, I'm not too sure which one's well, is it best match out there. Race? I think it's battle mode. We'll give that one a go. I don't even know what buttons do what here. I can't remember. Pick your car. I'm having... I'm having him. No, actually... Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Stitch myself up, mate. There we go. I'll actually yeah. that one. Yeah, I was in the live. What the hell? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, please let me know. Does that look better with the lights off like that? Yeah, I'll do whatever you guys want. Lights on, lights off. Um, okay. Oh, dear. Right, what one do we do? Oi! I thought I was choosing. Oh, what one do we do? Should we just do... Right, let's have a look then. What oh, comments we got going on here? Yes, someone said there, so hopefully... Oh, should we do the ice? That's what I was getting. What about shirt on, shirt off? <laughs> well, for the right price, you never know, it could be arranged. <laughs> on the bottom screen, yeah? Might have, yeah. Aren't uh, they reading chat? I am reading chat. What way do we go? <laughs> Amazing man. Oh, right, so yeah. I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, I will try and remove these spammers. Press B. Press B. And then you're out. So, uh, here Have we, we go. Have we got this away from it to go in here? There we go. Let's try and clean this up a little bit here. Oh, this is shambles. Is this the C10? No, uh, what you're looking at, let me just turn the lights on for a second. Don't know what that'll look like with the lights on again. That is the 65 inch LG G1 OLED. No, you stitch up. It's meant to do that you. Never had a Nintendo this cool. console has HDMI. Yes, it does. So it's... Um, I can't even see what we're doing here. Excuse me, just a second there. So yeah, it's uh, HDMI cable straight, to, straight from the console to the back of the TV and then runs off a USB cable. So you can plug the USB into the back of the TV, which I have done just there. If you, I don't know if you can see that. And uh, you can actually oh, well, run it off a power pack if you so wish. So uh, we've done that in the past. <laughs> you need mods. Yeah, I do need to get someone on here to sort all this sort of stuff out. S people spamming the channel it is uh, sad, really, but there you go. Yeah, I knew, do need a moderator. Yeah, we'll we get that sorted at some point. Um, I'll tell you what, just do that. Uh, um, right. There we go. What are these people doing? I've got people just spamming and spamming and spamming. I don't know what they're trying to get at, but there you go. Trying to ruin it, I suppose. So Samsung, what's that? QN900 is the best. Right, we should have known what way we're going now. Because <laughs> we're in much of a Toxic else. people, yeah, disgusting, yeah. What are they doing? Jesus Christ, I wish these people would give it a rest. Oh, they do it on everyone's videos. It's like they're bored with nothing else better to do. Yeah, but I mean, like, look at it. Look, just uh, tons of it. Blimey. Oh, God. <laughs> Where are these comments coming from? I don't know. I don't even... I, God knows what they are doing. This feels really slow. Is that you? I'm in Mario Kart. Okay, you just knocked me over. I'm cutting. So, right, getting back to uh, what we're actually meant to be doing and ignoring the people just larking about. So, this is what we're drinking tonight. So, we're on the old Thatcher's cider. You're behind me. Oh, that's lovely, that, lovely that is. So, who's doing best at the moment then? Me. Who's winning? 
So the missus is actually winning. Even so uh, I don't feel like I am, because this is ridiculous. It feels like I'm so slow. <laughs> it feels like I'm going backwards here. I'm cheating, I keep going across the sand. Get away. Paul is winning and he is gonna hate, yeah, blimey. What is going on? Look at it. Christ almighty, it's pathetic, isn't it? It's people out there that will do stuff like this. Jesus Christ. So anyway, if you are watching this and you're enjoying what we're doing, hit that thumbs up button, get these videos promoted, and uh, we can do away with these knob jockeys that keep messing about. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if you are just joining us, we are going to be talking about some upcoming TVs that I've got the choice of getting on the channel. Um, at some point, I will have them all on the channel, but I just want you guys to tell me oh, which I one we should one. get on first. And also, uh, the partner has just bought a new phone, which uh, we quickly show you guys what that is tonight. We're actually, after this live stream, we're start, going to start doing the unboxing that, on that as well, ain't we? Okay. So uh, yeah, that should be quite good. Haha, <laughs> knob jockey's very true, yeah. So yeah, I do need to get a moderator on this who can take over and do all this sort of stuff. Oh. So maybe it's something I could uh, delegate to one of you guys at some time. Whoever wants to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Oh, who got to drop that banana skin? Was that you? No. I just skidded on it. No, it sure. is a great game, isn't it? I, I, and as I've just said a minute ago, it looks really, really good on this OLED because of you know the black that we've got going oh, no. on around the edges. It just really makes it oh, pop. You... And the colours are not coming across on camera, just how good they really are in person. There we go. Someone can go skidding on that. What is going on with the chat? Yeah, I don't know. It's just people messing about, trying to ruin it. Um, sad, really, isn't it? I want an OLED TV. Yeah, they are great bits of kit. If you can get your hands on one, you know, I highly recommend them. Black Friday, not too far away, and that is a great Wee. time to bag a bargain. When, when it comes to OLEDs, there's always some cracking deals out there. I'm driving like I'm drunk here. Bots maybe, yeah, probably is. Are you still doing a Q&A? Yes, we did promise that we were doing that. And we had the discussion because we are actually going to be on holiday, ain't we? Yeah. And uh, we said about actually doing it um, on holiday and potentially even doing it live when we're out there. And uh, yeah, it could be something different. Yeah, we're not going to be filming much, are we? Yeah, because we're, we're going to be so relaxing a bit over there. So we thought we'd sort of sit down, we can take our time, do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully entertain you guys in a nicer surroundings as, as well. So uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that. Curry's Bargains is rubbish. Yeah. Right. Uh, we still going? Go. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to Alton Towers next weekend. I can't wait. Any Roy suggestions to try and get on? All Definitely. <laughs> top, top one's got to be the Smiler and um, Nemesis. Top tip, though, I would say is to start off sort of the far side of the park, maybe over nemesis direction or down at uh rita and 13 because everyone tends to go over smiler and spinball wizard to start with and wicker man so sort of avoid those ones and hit those up in like the afternoon oh, when one. everyone's sort of done those then in the, the morning then it goes quiet and people will hit those up again at the end of the day so yeah avoid those ones until the afternoon i'd say God, I hate this one. yeah you will do it's well dodgy see um, I was talking about you on here the other week about the A35 AMG. Finally took the plunge and bought it, loving it. Oh. Congratulations, mate. Funny enough, we were behind an A35 yesterday, weren't we? We were trying to get behind it. It was one in front of us, yeah. wasn't it? Just uh, pottering around sort of this local area. Behind, I'm behind. Ain't winning this one, am I? Paul, add a temporary mod for this live stream. 
Yeah, I will get something sorted in a minute. I tell, I'll be taking over in a minute on the game. I'll get me missus to sort something out. Oh, crikey. Oh, it's like bumper cars. Oh, oh my God, I just jumped over. <gasps> oh, is that the life. LG A1? No, this is the LG G1, so the top of the range uh, 4K TV that they do, or OLED, should I say. Oh, dear. Um, it's now time to be... Um, Better time to buy the LG A1 OLED or does anyone expect to sell soon? Wait to Black Friday, mate. Um, you'll be able to pick up a bargain then. I, I wouldn't touch buying any TV at the moment if you can hold off. I mean, if you're desperate, you know, you, you've got to buy something, then uh, yeah, obviously buy one now. But if you can hold off, then yeah, wait till Black Friday Catching period. There's always really good deals on OLEDs. He's saying that, that is. Um, right. Paul, should I get an uh, what's that? A one seventy seven inch. Yeah, I mean the A one's a great TV, but not so great if you are into your gaming. I would say if you are, then look at stepping up to the uh, the B one really, because then you've got a couple of HDMI two point one inputs on that, so you can do four K one twenty. Uh, because the A one doesn't have that facility; it's only HDMI two point zero. Right, so just picking through all this spamming rubbish, trying to read your mess messages here. LG C10 update. Yeah, we were meant to have the video up on Friday because on Thursday I put up the one for the C1 and G1. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a technical issue with that video, but that should be up Monday or Tuesday, or maybe even tomorrow, um, if all goes well. Paul, how do your KEF speakers sound? They sound absolutely amazing. We've had those for quite some time. We have owned KEF speakers in some shape or form for absolutely, well, years and years, isn't it? Yeah, we've always liked them, haven't we? Yeah. They're um, nice and bassy, they sound nice, they're clear. Yeah, yeah, proper good yeah. speakers. Yeah, we've had like the Q series, I've had reference series speakers, dipoles, bipoles, you name it, I've had it, I've had it all. <laughs> Um, at a, oh, once we had a time. really big, expensive setup, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, really expensive THX uh, certified amp back in the day cost me about, I think it's about four grand, wasn't it? And that was going back a long time ago. Where am I jumping? And uh, yeah, I spent an absolute fortune oh, yeah. on Kef speakers and all that. But as we got more kids than that, and they tended to want to push the tweeters in. Uh, we decided to sort of go for a satellite speaker setup instead. And in all fairness, they sound really, really good. And the thing with decent speakers, they will last you for years to come. And I can highly recommend Kef to anyone. They, you know, I've, I've never heard a bad Kef never speaker. Had problems with them, no, right, no, right? They, they've been good as Scott. Yeah. Oh, I've, no, once I think we had one dodgy rear speaker. Um, that, and that was sorted, not a problem. And me, our son once pushed the, the tweeter in on it and we had to get tweeters uh, replaced. Yeah. But um, yeah, apart from that, you know, they've been sound as a pound and yeah, I, I'd highly recommend them. OLED gaming is incredible, it certainly is. So I don't know if these spammers are gonna give up. I mean, I. This is just absolutely nuts. I I, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's someone who don't like the channel, who's deliberately trying to ruin it and wanting me to stop the live stream. But no, that ain't going to happen, unfortunately. You are, are barking up the wrong tree. You can sit there spamming all fucking night for I care. I just yeah, keep blocking people and yeah, just get a life, really. I'll just keep reading between the comments. Clearly the highlight of their night, that is. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let my partner take over. She can deal with uh, what's with the trolling. Yeah, I've, it's just people who don't like the channel, I think, mate, or something like that. So uh, I'll just let her take over. Ooh, oh, hello. Oh, well done. 
Uh, so what you need to do is, uh, you could uh, appoint someone to mod it, sort of thing, if we wanted to. Um, I've never done that. You just move this around here a second. So uh, you can just go to block user. And what if, so, if anyone that? out there does want a job as uh, being a mod, then feel free to come forward and maybe uh, my partner can look at appointing someone. And maybe we'll look for uh, appointing someone sort of more long term. I know other channels do it. So uh, again, if you are just joining us, we are on the Thatcher's Cider tonight. Oh, lovely drop of cider it is. Someone's saying they'll mod and they'll do a great job. A few people coming forward saying about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to appoint someone, and so yeah, my partner's now going to deal with that. So uh, I'm going to just move this round a little bit, get myself into shot if I can. Hopefully, oh my god, there we go. That's better. Now I'm going to have a go with this with me son, so uh, yeah, first go and play on this for a very long time. Oh. So we go, we've got proper controller here. Oh yes. Oh, bit rusty. It takes oh, a little while to get mate. used to it, doesn't it? Huh? It takes a little while to get yeah, used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a bit weird using a controller like this. Am I at the back end here? Bringing up the rear. Ah, oh, off the side, blimey. You can see I'm rusty. Hi, Andrew. Looking forward to meeting you as well. So, uh, yeah, if you have just joined us, hi, Andrew. And um, we've got our uh, new microphones on the go. We're just testing them out because uh, we had this microphone set up before, but we've had some issues with it, had to go back. So we're uh, testing out these replacement ones. So we've got a uh, partner, or the missus, on a microphone of her own. So she can also pitch in and hopefully uh, you guys can hear her loud and clear. So yeah, any questions, just come on forward. Oh. Uh, How do you block these people off, Paul? Because there's loads of it coming through. So what- Constantly. If, if, I don't know if you want to point that person as a, as a moderator. I don't know, there's a few people come forward. Who do I pick? Um, whoever you want, I don't know. Yeah, so- uh, um, Amy does always seem to join me on yeah, chat, so, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, if you want to- I presume it's a girl. Oops. Amy, yeah, if Amy's up for it, then yeah. Amy if you Fraser, can help us out, that'd that be absolutely marvellous. How do you go about doing it? Um, I don't know, <laughs> I've never done it before. Well, I was saying that she said that she, be able to do it, I, but I however, think, however, just for tonight. Yeah, I think you click on it. It does say there should be a drop down bar. I think if you click on their name, it says. No, click on their name. All ah, right, yeah. Yep. So I don't know if that's the right one that I've selected. If not, select the right one. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's all done. Right, let's reset that now. Let's have another swig of my cider anyway. Oh, that's lush. Oh, yeah, you got. I'm wondering why I could. Yeah, you, you've got number one. I wonder what was going on. If anybody does want to do it full time, so, yeah, then I've, get in contact and we'll pick somebody out because we need somebody all the time, really. Yeah. Now, if you just joined us, good thing is on this uh, Nintendo Classic Mini that we're testing out. On this OLED, we've actually got a screen burning reduction feature on there. So uh, yeah, that's pretty handy. Are you there, Amy? Somewhere? I haven't seen a reply anywhere at the moment. So games uh, we've got yes, now, we've got there. Street Fighter. She's just done Super something. Super Mario Kart. I take it Amy can hear you fine. I'm guessing so. Let she us know, Amy, nothing, if you can hear Helen fine I can see Fyner. she's doing stuff, yeah. Yeah, there she is, yeah. Uh, thanks very much for helping us out, Amy. Really appreciate it. 
It's all coming through thick and fast at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that hate I get. Ooh, they love to hate me. <laughs> you do love to be hated, don't so, you? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a pain for everyone to hate me, I'd tell I wouldn't be stood here doing this. Yeah, some great games. Super Ghouls and Ghosts there. Super Punch Out, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Final Fantasy, Street Fighter, Mario World, Super Mario World. But anyway, let's have another go on Super Mario Kart. And again, anyone who does want to beat the spammers <laughs> and you want to get your comment highlighted which might be quite hard at the moment and um, then you can uh, come it through should, on the super chat it should come up at the top anyway yeah so, so if you don't know what super chat is uh, basically there we go yeah um that's the first one that one yeah so yeah if you come through on super chat basically you're supporting the channel and uh you can get a comment in there gets highlighted so we all get to see it and uh, yeah support the channel which will be going towards um the new lighting that we're looking at getting is this okay yes right crack on with another racing i'll go mario there this time and once we've done this, what I'll do, I'll be uh, telling you guys about the TVs that I've been asked to test out. And hopefully you guys can tell me which TV that you'd like to see first. Oh, and we're also say about the phone that uh, you've just taken delivery of. Yeah, yeah. Very nice phone indeed. Well, we think so. Well, we, just, we had a little play with it in the shop, didn't we? In the shop, yeah, but not actually personally. And I'd home, love so. one myself. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think it'd be practical for uh, well, you for me, use, really. you can't use it in the gimbal, can you? No. Right, so we are off then. And please let me know whereabouts you are in the world tonight. And uh, what you've been up to this weekend. Maybe what you've got planned for tomorrow. We're going to be doing some more filming, ain't we? I'll yeah, be uh, yeah. unboxing a new smartwatch that I've just uh, purchased. Oh, there we go. Um, some dar Dars, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, happy to mod full time people. Always happy to support your channel. Amazing videos. Keep it up. Sent for four pound forty nine. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. And if you want a mod, you can. Yeah, we'll do yeah. It you can do it full time if you like. Yeah, I'll tell um, you what, uh, maybe contact us um, through, maybe contact you via the, oh, I'm not concentrating here, through Facebook. On, I was going to say, if you're on yeah. Facebook, yeah, if you've got Facebook, drop us a message and I'll get back to you and we'll sort it out. Pick, pick of the, pick a day, love the channel, uh, how are the cinema chairs holding out, worth it? Yeah, cinema seating. Uh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, um, we've taken them out of the living room at the moment because we didn't want to get them ruined because they are so nice, ain't they? They are really, really nice. And uh, we've basically put them into storage just for now. Yeah, yeah, we're not actually using them that. at the moment. <laughs> I didn't even realise I was winning. <laughs> there you go, that's a turn up. Um, yeah, because we are hoping to move at some time and fingers crossed we'd like to do a dedicated sort of cinema room type thing and we want to keep those did for i say you sent a five we had 4.49 and fiver oh that was the who, cinema seat in let me just scroll back a minute this i was going to say my partner's relaying everything to me here so yeah he sent five pounds and that's the one so that who was that you sent chairs five? so yeah thank you very much yeah. for that makes really appreciate it we and, appreciate uh, anything that's even if it's small yeah at the end of the day it doesn't matter it all adds up so and yeah, that money really will be going it. back into the channel and uh, I'll be doing a video as soon as we buy the new lighting and let you guys know that you were the ones that helped pay for it. And uh, um, yeah, so going back to the seating just quickly, seating is absolutely lovely. Um, smells lush, doesn't it? It does smell really it nice. smells Hold real on nice. Hold and on. Uh, yeah, go and check out the video if uh, you haven't seen that anyone. Yes. It's really, really good. 
But we have just, just decided to keep them for best for now, ain't we? Until we get that cinema room, because it'd be a yeah. shame with the kids in the they're living room, they will probably get end up ruins, you know, jumping all over the cup holders, turning the lights on and off sort of thing. But they will be back on the channel, definitely. And uh, can't wait to use them again, because the ones that we've got here are absolutely hanging, ain't they, to be honest? Yes, the, the um, Facebook channel is the tech giant. You'll see, obviously, a picture of Paul with um, all his stuff laid out. Um, obviously, it's all open for you to just go on there and like the channel and message and what have you. As in, you haven't got to be accepted or anything. Um, so, yeah, just Google, um, go onto Facebook, Tech Giant, you'll see it straight away. It's I, I take it people are responding it. back to you fine and all that. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, as well, can anyone tell me, are we coming well, through and just like... X are we talking bunny? like are we coming through as in mono or stereo sort of thing like Helen's coming out of one speaker on am I coming out of another or are we both coming out of both speakers X honey um, bunny thank you for the donation of 9.99 US dollars I think that is yeah thank you very much mate much um, appreciated Westfield 90 499 US dollars um once again thank, thank you, you so much USA. for this appreciate your channel thank you very much glad you like the channel not everyone yeah, does, but we're glad you do. It's great that you guys come through supporting us because we've been getting a lot of problems recently. Now, we'll be totally been, honest yeah. with you. We've had a lot of people hating on us recently. I don't know what it is that we do wrong to sort of wind people up. We do our best to try and keep everyone happy, answer as many questions as we can, entertain you guys, you know, and try and do what we can when it comes to videos. But some people, for whatever reason, just do not like it. But yeah. mind you, it isn't just me. I feel sorry for... Like someone said they're jealous of you. Yeah. Yes, I think it is all yeah. just jealousy. I, but... I don't want to sound like a sort of big head or anything like that, but I, yeah. do think it, I generally do think it is jealousy. People don't like to see people succeed this. Trouble is with the internet, it's too open to everybody yeah. doing I, it. I, I don't it? know why people have this sort of attitude. Mm. Like, I don't know what I do wrong, you know. I'm not hurting anyone. It's not a controversial channel, really. This you know? is an amazing channel. Um, I don't understand the hate. But it's not Sorry just me. I was watching um, Vincent from HDTV Test the other night, and he's been getting abuse because people have been saying about he talks too slow and things like that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's each their own how they want to run, oh, run their go. own channel. Well, um, and it ain't nice when you get abuse off Same people. It, it is pretty sad, isn't it, that people, how far people will go. And some of the abuse is absolutely shocking. I mean, we had abuse off a girl, believe it or not, the other day. She sent message after message after message, just giving me abuse, personal abuse, you know, oh, yeah, boldy, this, that, and the other. Not that, like, it's a shock his, that I'm bold. His <laughs> up. You know, steroid head and all this sort of stuff. It's like, oh, you guys are fantastic. People go on and channel, on. But... Donation 20 PLN, whatever that is. Hi, guys. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Love your channel. So who was that who just sent another donation? Because I want to make sure I get every one of you guys in there. I can't these usernames. They're really hard. So, yeah, right. So I can't see who sent Hicks anything. Hicks Ock. Hicks Ock. I'm probably so getting thank you very much there, for that. Yeah. I really, really do appreciate it. And I, I do apologise for anyone who I don't mention. If I haven't mentioned you and you have uh, given a donation, just... You know, prod us again. We we'll make sure we give you a shout out. I'm not rude like that. I like to make sure we get everyone mentioned who does support the channel. But um, if I just quickly interrupt Helen. I'll tell you what, mate. Do you want to uh, go on to one of the other games and keep everyone, you know, entertained to what we do? We just press reset. We'll talk about the TVs we're going to test out. I'll tell you what. We're going to do Super Mario World. Westfield so 90. Please ignore the haters. They are low lives. We love your channel. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate. So, TVs then. So, yeah, the guys at box.co.uk, I'll get that in there. They're not paying me to say that. But in all fairness, they are good enough to send me the TVs. So I'll give those guys a bit of promotion there. So I've, I've got, got a list. Um, we've got Samsung, Sony and LG. Now, don't shoot me down that I haven't got every TV available. This is just what has been offered to me. So Samsung's, we've got a UE65 AU9000, a UE60 AU8000, a QE55 QAT, a QE65 QN800, and a QE65 QN85. Then we have a Sony XR55 X90JU, and then onto LGs, we have an LG OLED 65 C1. Now I know everyone wants to see that, and what I'm going to be doing is definitely I'm going to hold that one back 
until after we get back off holiday for the run for uh, Black Friday. So I'm looking at maybe end of October, start of November. I will get that C1 on the channel and do loads of testing with that because I think that's going to be probably the top OLED from LG, what people are probably going to go for over the Black Friday period. And then finally, we have another LG, which is a 75 inch QNED. 99.6 PB. So yeah, that'll be the biggest TV that we've ever had in the house, a 75 incher. And uh, hopefully it'll go on the wall. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be interested to try that out. Mind you, it could be a bad thing getting a 75 inch TV in the house, cause uh, could, it, could end up taking a shine to it and uh, <laughs> it's then gonna be downsizing to 65 inch. I just need inch. to interrupt you a minute. Yeah. Right, Amy said, are Sharp TVs any good? To be honest, um, from what I've ever, I've not had a lot of experience with Sharp. I wouldn't say they're the best, but that was was quite a while ago when I last tested a Sharp TV and I've never actually tested one on the channel. I've personally just bought them, but then returned them because I want that impressed with them. So uh, what they're like now, I don't know. So uh, Lance Golden sent us a message on Facebook showing us this room set up. Yes, I did. I've seen the pictures. I've just had a look at them. Do you approve of? Do you approve of so the I'll man have to have cave a look at those. I sent on Facebook? Yeah, I think it I looks nice. I have a quick look. Let's have a look. look. It, it looks alright. Let me just get it back. Now I tell you what. That just brings me to a subject that I was going to hold back, but I tell you what. Yeah. Now we've got it up and running. Let's have a look. Yes, mate. That looks absolutely beautiful. Now. Nice blue I, LED yeah, lights. Yeah, it does. I do like the lighting. Now, what we thought about doing, and again, this was going to be introduced, again, round about Black Friday period. So when we're away on holiday, I'm probably going to put up a community post about this, asking you guys to send in photographs and potentially video of your own setups. And what we're going to do is me and the family are going to sit down and we're going to rate your setups and uh, look at the pictures put them on the screen and uh, you know, you can get to show your setup to the world. I'm gonna sit there and yeah, just you generally. You don't sort have of, to be shy, you can No, 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 you know, we're not gonna sort Hasn't of got to be, be a massive slagging TV. anyone off or anything like not that, got, you know. No, not everyone's got deep no. pockets at the end of the day. And you know, we're, what we'll probably do is figure out some sort of way, put them into different ca categories, depending on sort of budget and that sort of thing. Yeah. And you know, just, uh, just have a bit of fun with it. And it gives you guys an opportunity to show off what you've got. And I think it'd be interesting that I'm sure other people out there are interested to see what other people's setups look like as well. Cause I'm sure you're probably all getting sick of seeing my, our four walls in air all the time. So it'd be nice to see what you guys have uh, got to show. And uh, please let me know if you think that's a great idea for a new series of videos. I think it's quite good. I, I, I think I'll quite enjoy doing that sitting down. It's nice get, to see what other people yeah, have got, getting, isn't it? You can sit there as well. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, we just sort of so rate them. And that. Like I said, we're not going to be nasty. Don't we're not be like shy. that. So but at the end of the day, we like to see it yeah, all. Yeah, we'll it have to matter. figure out some sort of system where people can send us in the photos and videos, whether it be just photos or just video or photos and video. It's yet to be decided what whatever's best. And yeah, yeah we'll take it from there. So hopefully, should be a nice little series. So let's have another swig. How are you getting on with that game there, buddy? You getting on good? I do, like I keep saying, whilst the graphics, obviously they're low quality, but it looks really good, doesn't it? it the the, the, uh, the colours are punchy, it just looks so nice with the, the black edges on it, it really like pops. Oh, so yeah, I have got a new watch that I'm going to be unboxing. Um, probably do the video tomorrow, so the video will be up sometime in the week I expect, and that's a new Galaxy uh, Watch 4 Classic. And I've done something that seems to be that no one else has caught onto, and that's I've designed my own watch. Now I know this is something that Apple have been doing for a while, but it seems to be that no one seems to know that you can do it with a Samsung watch. So you can actually choose the actual uh, main watch face itself, and then choose a strap to go with it. So you can like basically mix mix and match whatever you, you want. And a lot of people out there are saying, oh, they don't like the strap that comes with the watch. But I figured it out. You can basically choose whatever strap you want, which is really good because uh, you can create your own. And that is exactly what I've done. So hopefully I've got 
quite a unique watch and strap combination. So uh, if you'd like to see that, then that video will be up in the next few days. And uh, in a minute, we get your uh, phone. We're not gonna show it out of the box because we haven't even broke the seal on it yet. But uh, hopefully you guys will be interested to see what this phone is like. And what's coming through on the chat? Anything we, much there we got? Got it. Um. Oh, I'll tell what this cider is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Thatcher's will the vintage. C1 remote on? Uh, will the C1 remote work on the CX? That is a video I won't tell you just yet because uh, I've got to do a little bit more testing. So we've got C10 G1 and I've got both old and new remotes. And I'm going to be doing a video showing what you can, can't do with each remote on each TV. So uh, I'll hold off on give you a reply to that because it's not quite as simple as it might seem. So uh, yeah, watch out for that. And we're hopefully over the next few days going to bang out or create a lot of content because we are going away. We've got to obviously allow content to be there available for when we're away because we can't create it when we're on holiday. So it's going to be a busy next few days, isn't it? Doing yeah. videos like yeah. that. And uh, where is your phone, by the way? In the kitchen. Shall I go get it a second? Yeah. Is it, right, I take it it's in there. Right, so do you, do you want to do it? Do you want to show everyone? Come on, come show the world. Come on, come on camera for a second. Ugh. Come on. Do I have to? So this is hopefully the wife's new pride and joy. That's it, if I like it. If I get if, this going back because yeah. it's a lot of money. Very lot of money. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's a not black actually, box. That's a... <laughs> look at look at the nails. Look at it. Look at look at these. Look, get them closer to the camera. Look at the colour on those things. <laughs> They're like bogies. When she's getting into our yellow car, I've got to <laughs> say it's it's a sight. <laughs> so yeah, we will be doing a proper unboxing video on this. Oh, someone's get just come for forward it. with. Oh, hold on. We've got a super chat come forward there, oh. and that is. <laughs> Westfield 90, um, looking forward to the upcoming content where you're going on holiday. Thank you very much, mate, for that. Much appreciated. We are going to Mallorca, which is a Spanish island. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to go there. And we will be doing content from over there. And we'll be showing you around um, our accommodation, which I am sure you guys are absolutely going to love. The haters are going to absolutely... It's a special villa for The a haters are going to be blowing steam out their Isn't ears it? when they it's see this place. Occasion, yeah, though. they're going to hate it. They really are. They are going to go nuts when they see this place. But if you like us, you're going to think it's the best thing since sliced bread. What's I... the special occasion, Paul? Why are we going out there? What? To where we're we going. But what's the special occasion? You forgot already, Leon. Oh, yes, it's someone's <laughs> big birthday. It's a big birthday. It's a 40th birthday. Do you have to say what one it is, really? <laughs> All right, it's her 50th. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going out there. It's, it's well, we pushed the boat out. It's my 20th, out. really. Yeah, we've pushed the boat out a bit. And uh, it's a very nice place. But it's, I'll tell you what, for... What it's like, again, I'll run through figures and all that when we actually get there. I'm honest with you guys, I'll tell you what it costs Speed and all that. And I'll tell you what, you'll be shocked at what it actually works out per person per night for such if a... If you was to fill it a, a the maximum, mental yeah. place, yeah. So, uh, right, yeah. do you want to see the phone? Right, okie dokie then. Show the world the phone. I don't know if you can see it, but okay. So, yeah, 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 come a little bit closer. There we go. Galaxy Z Fold or Z Fold 3 5G. And it's very heavy. Yeah, so it's Very heavy. <laughs> Samsung's latest and greatest fold phone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, not cheap, but you did get a discount on it. And you've I got, did get a discount, and you've, yeah. she's got her old phone to sell as well. Um, I've never even had a phone that expensive myself. So uh, yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to like it though. But uh, yeah, we're going to be unboxing that 
in a bit, once we finish this, we're going to start doing that video, then be working late into the night tonight. Into the night, yep, like always. And But we tried it out in the shop, didn't we? Yeah. And I, I actually just popped into the Samsung Experience store and just had to fiddle with it, just a bit of daydreaming, really. And then yeah. the, the missus followed suit and was like, mm, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like, well, I, I haven't got an iPad. And I've always wanted an iPad, but I find it a bit inconvenient having two devices. I like to have it all on one device. Yeah. I mean, so I, I thought that would be a bit of both, really, wouldn't yeah. it? I mean, I'd have You've got the one. size there, but then you've also got the size to put in your pocket yeah. as well. I mean, it would be useful for me, but the problem is, like, what we're using now is my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and uh, that wouldn't fit in a gimbal, which I'm using at the moment. It wouldn't use, uh, wouldn't fit in the holder for me drone, which my phone will. So, unfortunately, it just wouldn't be that convenient for not me, would for it? Not for you, no. Definitely not. And you've got an iPad anyway. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully, you'll like it. Hopefully. There you go. And hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. We'll do, do a little bit of a comparison with, like, me note as well to show you guys what, uh, what it's like compared to a, a, a rival. Well, I say rival. It's not, it's not rival, is it? It's the same mate. Happy um, 20th. Hey, <laughs> happy 20th. Happy 20th. Yeah, she wishes. I wish. <laughs> Chance to be a fine thing. But yeah, we're, we're testing it out against a, a regular Samsung phone so you can see what the difference is screen size and especially um, how sort of web pages that are scaled up, what they look like, you know, on that expanded screen. That's uh, quite interesting myself because in the shop we just flick through the apps really as opposed to proper web pages. So it'd be interesting to see what things like YouTube and all that, how they're scaled up and what they look like. So yeah, please join us for that video. Again, hopefully that'll be up sometime in the week. Someone said they like my nails. They like your nails. Yeah, they are different. <laughs> I'll give you that. In all fairness, yeah, why not stand out from the crowd? Someone said 40's young. Don't feel it. <laughs> See, I'm older, and do you know what? I, I, said, I, I don't feel over here. Amy said, I thought you were 18. <laughs> if you're being serious, thanks. <laughs> because, Eight, uh... 18 pound? 18 pound? <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on there, buddy? Getting good? Someone said, go to Magaluf Bleach, absolutely wonderful. Yep. We've, we've been to Magaluf and we've walked along the seafront, but we've actually never been on the beach. Well, we've never been on the beach. We've walked no. along the seafront. And I'll tell you what. And we've seen it's nice, but we because we have to travel quite far to there, we don't actually go there for the beach, no, do we? No, no. It's mean, normally always the evening, isn't it? I said this before on the channel, Magaluf, everyone just conjures up, piss heads, roam in the streets, rowdy. But Magaluf Beach is Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's really, Someone especially said, in the evening, it's really, really nice. Did you get the free watch? The free watch? Yeah, well, I did suspect that, that oh. there would have been a giveaway of a watch or earbuds or something Looks like, like we've that. Missed out and on that uh, one, no, she's seen it afterwards, so no, she has missed out on any freebies. That's if it was available in the UK. Yeah. Um, I know different places do different offers. But it wouldn't surprise me if it was something free. I know they generally do do something like that. Someone said they're looking forward to review. But yeah, we can't um, wait. We'd we, we do a uh, video from down Magaluf Way. We'll probably walk around um, Palmer Nova and all that sort of direction again. Maybe even do a live stream My as dad well. didn't get a free watch or earbuds. Oh, there you go. So, so uh, yeah, probably region dependent and yeah. all that sort of thing. I know that's happened before, isn't it? That other countries have got freebies and other places. I know we've had that. freebies before with other phones, but yeah. that one, I think I left it too late to buy it. Yeah, I mean, I know. But one, I didn't know it was out. No, so. I know at one stage Samsung used to always throw in something kept through, like with the notes and that, and then they just all of a sudden stopped it, didn't they? Yeah, Patrick B's online. Hi, Patrick. Haven't seen you in a little Hi, while. No, and uh, yeah, well, hopefully as well. Talk, going back to Mallorca, we're going to be teaming up with a couple of uh, YouTubers from out in Mallorca, but they're expats. Well, I think they're expats anyway. And uh, well, yeah, one, well, one definitely yeah. is. And um, yeah, so hopefully yeah. we should be teaming up with them, like a triple YouTuber video, whether it's a live stream. So I don't know what plans, but I think we're going to be inviting them round to our villa. And uh, they're going to be doing, something, yeah, they're they? going to be doing a tour around to show in the place because it is like you know that nice sort of thing that it deserves a video in itself. So it uh, should be nice meeting up with them. They're, they're sort of YouTubers that we've talked to before that we've uh, just found them through our love of Mallorca as such, and you know they they do travel vlogs or videos about going around Mallorca, showing sort of different places. 
So uh, yeah, I'll introduce you guys to them and uh, hopefully give their channels a bit of promotion as well and vice versa. Hello from Exeter. Funny enough, we were only down that way the other day, weren't we? Where, where, yeah. where was we going? Torquay, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Torquay. It was... Oh, you mean... Um, Ex Exmouth? Exmouth, On the yeah. way to Exmouth, yeah. We yeah. passed just through there then, wasn't it? That was all right, actually. That was a good day out, wasn't it? Yeah, it's... Yeah. We've been there before and I wasn't that keen, but I must admit, after going there the other day, it seemed different. Yeah, we had some um, bat battered chips. Yeah. Just like we had in Paynton. I tell you what. They're a bit nicer than down there, though. I'll the tell you what. So talking of travelling and that, um, I'll put up. I don't know whether you guys would be that interested or not, but I'll put up one of my travel videos tomorrow. Actually, probably put it up late afternoon, early evening, where we've gone to um, Weymouth. What was the other two places? Weymouth, Paynton, and somewhere else I can't remember. But they're quite good in 4K HDR as well. So I've done it in top quality. So uh, <laughs> if you've got a compatible TV, it should look absolutely mint. Have you been to Radstock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Radstock. <laughs> mm. Have we been to Radstock? Well, seeing though she comes from just around the corner, then yeah. And uh, fun, yeah, so fact, used to live by that. fun yeah. fact for you here. She used to live around the corner from, oh, what was it? I can't even remember her name now. I've, that's it, I've just shown myself up. An actress from Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, that um, that girl. What's her name? Go from Game of Thrones. She What's used to her live name? literally, literally the next road down. Honest to God, went to the same school as well, didn't didn't she? In um, what was what's, what's the school? Um, your old school. Um, what, what, I've, uh, well, I've been to two, haven't I? I've been to what's Summer that girl's name? I went That's... to Somerville in um, Norton Hill. I think she was from Norton Hill. Pretty sure of it. Game of Thrones actress. Don't put Clutton. That's the one? Yep. Maisie Williams. There you go. So, yeah, she literally used to live the next street from Maisie Williams. There you yeah. go. Fun fact for you there, if anyone is a fan of Game of Thrones. As so, you can uh, probably tell by my accent, I've got a Bristol accent. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Middle of nowhere. I've That's lived here for many years, but um, so what, you're bored already. Going on. Yeah. Do you take steroids? No, he doesn't. He no. does not. He does not. And I can. I ain't gonna lie Never. about it. No, I tell a lie. I've taken steroids once. I took a steroid cream for a bit of eczema. I had on my top lip, but I don't think that's had much of an influence on me muscles. If I'm being totally honest with you, that's the only only time I've ever touched steroids in any shape or form. Ray, seven um, four the, six the, um, five US dollars. Thank you very much, mate. I'm really, still really appreciate that. Disappointed they won't get rid of the Note series and have done a review of the best sound bar for the LG. What's that about yeah. note series? I'm still they, got rid of it. they want to get rid of the note series. Yeah, I don't think they will get rid of it personally. Have you done a review on the best sound bar for LG OLED TV? Yeah, so first off then, um, with regard to the note, yeah, mate, play something else. Play some, keep people happy, will we? Come on, I'm talking. Play something else. Hold on a sec. Press reset. He doesn't look like he takes steroids. No, well, that's because he doesn't. Um, so, he, yeah. <laughs> and he wouldn't have this many kids if he did. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't got a back for a sponsor or anything like that. Um, I'd love to know what I would look like on steroids. I'd probably be the well, size like, of a bloody like house. He's, like that bloke said, you're too small for it. <laughs> well, yeah, to yeah. be honest, if you're on steroids, you're like ridiculously big. And I'm, yeah, I'm big, but I mean, like, I, Not I mean, that big. Uh, you know, no. biceps scouts to about 19 and a half, 20 inches sort of thing. So when you're on steroids, hard. they're, yeah, yeah, when I'm working hard. Um, but yeah, if I was on steroids, I'd like to think I'd be a hell of a lot bloody bigger. Um, so yeah, answering that question, uh, it's talking about the note. Um, I don't think they're going to get rid of it properly. Personally, I think they're still going to keep on to keep the note coming in some shape or form. Um, I think it's just because of the chip shortage why they sort of like ditched off this year. I know they have been pushing towards the fold phones, but. I still can't see him replacing the note from being totally honest. Um, it's, a sh it's a shame though if they did did get rid of it because I've, we've been note fans for years, haven't we? I think I've had notes yeah. since yeah, Note 3. Yeah. And I've always gone for the note because they've always had the bigger display. But as years have gone on, the S series and the note series have got closer and closer and closer together. And really, there's, 
there isn't a massive difference between now apart from the pen and really sort of a tiny bit more screen real estate and more squared off edges but i do actually prefer that so uh and what is it sound bars to be honest it's sound bars i've only i think i've only tested two three not not many at all um so i I wouldn't like to say what is a really good sound bar at the moment because I haven't tested any recently. But again, I'll maybe put in a request with Box and see if there's anything that they could send me out um, over the sort of run up to Black Friday. And uh, yeah, if they have got something, then I'll let you guys know. Because I know when I have done sound, you know, the two or three sound bars in the past, they have, have been popular videos and I do enjoy testing out sort of sound systems and that. Love to actually start being able to do like separate amps and speakers and all that if anyone would ever come forward and sort of offer for me to test them out because I do love my sound systems. So yeah, any other questions on that? So what we on there? Amy's What's that donkey? messaged a couple of times. I did, I've seen her first message, but it kind yeah, of flew you, past. Thank you very she much for She said she would be able to do some more modding. Um, thank you very much. So much She hasn't got Facebook, tonight. but if you could message on a different platform. I, I, I take it she's been of, keeping on top of everything yes, that's been yes. going on. Thank you for, so much for that. Really, really do appreciate that, Amy. And uh, yeah, people just spamming it. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? But they, what can you do? That's just the internet for you. And uh, part and parcel of it at the end of the day. But... We're battle for it. I ain't going anywhere. And these streams will continue to keep on going. If these people think they're going to shut me down, I'm going to get ground down. They got another thing coming. They will be worn out before I will. Trust me. <laughs> what a game. How good's that? That's good, isn't it? Do you know what? I forgot about it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. See, things like this, I've got to say, graphics might not be that good. Now. It's, but it's the gameplay with them, isn't it? Yeah. It's the gameplay that matters, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, definitely. I was only saying to someone the other day, like Snake on the old um, mobile phones. I could play that for hours on end. Hours playing Snake. I never sat there and thought, do you know what? This looks so basic, it's boring. Just, yeah, it's all about the gameplay. Someone's asked, what inspired you to start up your YouTube channel? Um... Well, originally it started, funny enough, um, I was actually going to put a community post up because YouTube only contacted me the other day and said, congratulations, it's your channel's birthday. And uh, yeah, apparently it's, uh, I think they said it's three years old. And uh, well, I think it's officially three years old in a few days time, but I will put up a community post then about that. And yeah, I, I, it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, probably out of frustration to be honest because of I've wanted to see videos done in a more basic way about tech that I've seen and people just want covering it in a way that I wanted it to be covered so I thought well you know I'll give it a go myself and uh, what prompted me to sort of start doing it is when we went on holiday um, to Mallorca we got caught up in a big flood again I put a link to this video when I say about the birthday and that is sort of a big hitting video we had thousands of views on it and I thought, well, see how I'm getting people watching this, it's a good time to really start off the channel with uh, doing some tech. And uh, I think I compared a couple of phones, done a couple of sort of speed tests with them and uh, benchmark scores. And uh, eventually then we got our first OLED TV. I'd done an unboxing video of it in the style that I'd wanna see a TV unbox given as I do like now, like the measurements of the box measurements of the uh, like the holes on the back of the TV where you wall mount it that sort of thing and just sort of doing it in a down to earth way and uh, you guys clearly liked it and that's well basically how it all started just wanted to do it in a in a simple way because it seemed to be a lot of YouTubers out there were just sort of baffling people with science or you know with uh, too much technical information which I think goes over a lot of people's heads I mean you know if you're technically minded you get it all but for a lot of people out there you know it's you might as well be talking in a foreign language and I wanted to just sort of express it in a simple way that other people could understand and a lot of people do seem to uh, like the way that I do that and that that's who I try and aim these videos at it's just the average man or woman on the street so I tell you what, I'm getting through the cider tonight. Not like the beer last week, which I couldn't bear. I tell you what, I wish I'd got more bottles here. This is a proper gun to my head. Do you like me old cider though? It's duck Hunt on there. It's Duck Hunt. No, unfortunately no Duck Hunt. But the old gun, I used to love Duck Hunt. I used to play that down the arcades as well. 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to have... I'll tell you what we have. No, no one's asked me. To, no one's asked me yet. Why hasn't anyone asked me? What we got for tea. What we got for tea. Normally everyone asks me what we got for tea. No one's asked. Oh my God. Talking about what we got for tea. I'm going to tell you what we got for tea now or what I'm having for tea. A curry. A takeaway curry. Get on that phone now and order me a curry before the frig is shut down. I was going to say, I better be shut. Uh, yeah, takeaway curry, I think, tonight. Chicken madras. Did you get tea before filming? No, no. No, no, no. We don't no. have tea till about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. No, well, I've got to have tea yet. The only time we have it early normally is when we get a takeaway. Yeah, yeah. But if we're cooking, it's got to be 12, no. 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, we've got to yeah. eat tea. So takeaway curry. Then we've got to start doing the unboxing video. We're only, we're only doing sort of as far as her opening up the box. We do the rest tomorrow. And then I've got to work out for a couple of hours. So yeah, I'm in for a late night. Probably won't get a bed till about five, six in the morning, I expect. Yeah, get on and order that curry because they shut at 11. Don't forget the poppadoms with the pickles tray. Oh, yeah, poppadoms. Oh, do you love me or poppadoms? Oh, I don't know if it's going to be it's, on here. I can't remember which one it is, but I like the, the sweet, sweet one. It's like the red, red sauce, that they, ready orange sauce that it comes with. Remember that one? I can't remember what it is, but it's nice. And I'll tell you what, when we go to Mallorca, I'll tell you what, we should do it. We should, we should do a live stream for one of the curry houses. That'd be a good laugh, wouldn't it? They come out with the chicken tikka or sizzling. Yeah, how about that? If you think we should do that, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done it, yeah, please, please hit that thumbs up button. Only takes a second of your time. Just reach up now, hit that thumbs up if you are enjoying what we're doing. Just helps promote the video so more people get to see it. So I'm going to have another go on. I know I'm boring you with the same games, but... We had cheese pizza and fries this evening. Oh, what have I done now? Press the wrong button. <sighs> yeah, we were, we were a bit late tonight, mind, weren't we, doing this uh, video? Because, we, uh, to be honest, I wasn't going to do it. No, no, and, you, uh, you kept saying, I ain't going to do yeah, it. I, I said, oh, saying, I can't be bothered tonight. And she said, no, no, do it, do it. I thought, all right. I then enjoy it. I I ended up, we ended up lying on the bed and we ended up watching Vacation. <laughs> vacation. National Lampoon's Vacation. The original one, do you know what I mean, from the 80s. So yeah, we ended up watching sort of the last half, half hour of that after I got out of the shower. So that's why we're sort of late starting. 100cc class, right, that'll do. Have you done two players? No, just one. I do join. Oh, you want to join, do you? Oh. I'll just reset it then. Rainies. Pardon? Is it Rainies? I think it is, yeah. Just it. Oh, tomorrow. I think it's sharp. Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. Please don't tell me that curry house is shut. Is there any, is the other one open? Hold on. There ain't going to be many places open now. Oh, what am I going to do? There's nothing worse when you fancy something for your tea and then you can't get it. That's awful. That's torture, that is. Let's try Uber Eats, shall we? That's how you would recover. You were doing a lot That's odds law, isn't it? Because we always say that they're open really late. They normally open until about 11, I thought. Yeah. Especially being a Saturday, but... I totally forgot about that. If I'd have known, I would have ordered yeah, it Yeah, well, we got off the bed and we said you're going to have a curry and you said yeah. you're going to show it to everybody, but... Yeah. Well, last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last the last time we said we were getting a curry, it's literally we got off from the stream on it, the doorbell went off and it turned up. Mushroom cup. <laughs> what a game, what a game. It does look proper good on this, it's, you know, as good as it can look anyway. Well, they're all closed. Even Hussain's is closed. What is? Even Hussain's. Uh, the only one that's open is Zach's, which we've never been to before. So, they want uh, three pound for delivery. Do you think I should try a different curry ice? Do, do I risk it? It's Tikka fine, Masala, right? 7 dollars oh, oh, Madras no. is 7 15 That's quite expensive, actually, isn't it? 
Does right everything normally pay? It's not seven quid, is it? I don't know. No, it's probably not far off that. They want, three pound, they want three pounds for delivery as well. Cool. Shall I get a kebab? Shall I get a kebab? I'll see if anywhere's open. Oh, I can't believe that though about the curry. And I am a bit wary, mind, about going somewhere different. Well, yeah, because if it's not very nice. Oh, so... just missed. See what, see what kebabs are open, shall we? Who likes a kebab? Yeah, anyone else a kebab fan? Very fattening, very unhealthy. We often drive down nice. to a place called Minehead. We go down there for a nice long drive because the roads down there are really good. It's called, isn't it called Minehead Kebab Shop? Yeah, something like that. We go um, down there, we park up, we get a kebab. Because uh, we're so into our cars, we will literally just go out for a drive. No, no, not to actually go anywhere specifically as such, no. we would just go out for a drive just to enjoy the performance of the car. And we quite often end up down Mine Ed and uh, yeah, get a, get a nice kebab. I like chips and cheese, haha, that's what I had. Chips and cheese, cheesy chips. I love cheesy chips. Yeah, the missus does. I really do yeah, like you cheesy chips. You are partial chips, to yeah. cheesy chips, yeah. But, I mean, it sounds a weird combination, but Strangely, it, it does. It does work, work doesn't it? It does work. I have work. a chalet near Minehead. I bet that's probably quite nice because Minehead is nice. It's only small, but it's nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice quiet area. We went up on the like the main sort of hillside, the, like sort of the main lump that sticks out the other week, and the views from up there were stunning, weren't they? Yeah. Really, really nice. Right, what we got here? Flames take away. Because uh, what's the program we've been watching about? Nice kebab. Where have, where have we We've normally go? We've been there before, haven't we? Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah, that person said about mine. Have you been watching the series about the RNLI? And uh, that's, that's been quite good because they've been down mine a few times, haven't they? Stories from down that direction. It's quite good because it's all sort of around the West Country or West area. Another one? Yeah? Who won that? I'm not even taking it. Did yeah, I? You were second. I was fourth. We keep What's going. dinner tonight, Helen? Well, we've just been, I don't know if you just come on or no, but we've just been talking. We were going to get a curry, but the curry house is shut. We've left it too late. So when I were just talking oh, about. Oh, um, I forgot. I, was, I think I'm looking at the bottom here. Is, is anyone ever done that? You've looked at the wrong bit. Talk about getting the kebab bit. instead because the kebab house is still open. Yeah, it's nothing worse when you do that. I was looking at Mum's screen and I thought it was Mum and yeah, I, I do think the, the clock is a little bit slow on the wall. Because <laughs> uh, uh, compared to the iPad one, it is slightly oh, out. Oh, I missed. Blimey, you can tell I've had a drink and all over the shop. Here we go, red oh, don't one. Don't use that as an excuse. I've, had, I've got a red one. Boom! I like the way you use oh, that no. as an excuse because you've had half a bottle. <laughs> to be fair, I've had nearly a full bottle and I've had nothing to eat. You shouldn't get drunk on a full bottle. It's only been a bit of cider. Yeah, I don't really drink that much, not at all. That's pretty, that's pretty pokey, that cider, to be fair. Yeah? Oh, I keep messing up here. Right, so what are we having then? I'll just have a large kebab, please. Do, do they do it with chips instead of salad? Don't know kebabs. I know Hold some on places Hold do. On. So what, do you want a lot? Uh, large what? lamb donna. Okay. Nice bit of Donna kebab. Yeah. Large. It's still not as good as the curry though. Let's drop that Do you want salad skin. or no salad tonight? I'll have salad with it. Yeah, make it look a bit healthy. Yeah, no, yeah. I like it. A few like onions. It hasn't given me the option for chips, so I'm going to have to add them on separately. How many viewers we got on at the moment then? How many people are online watching? Uh, just gone down to 89, but we had 102. So, uh, yeah, welcome if you are just joining us. What console are you playing? It's the um, Nintendo... It's the Nintendo Classic, Classic Mini. Yeah. And we are on the 65-inch LG G1 OLED. So, yeah, that's what we're playing on at the moment. Just connected up via HDMI. And there is the little console itself, and it's powered by just a USB cable, which I've got connected in up to the TV, so no proper socket as such. And you've got your old retro controller there as well. 
And also we've been talking about um, TVs. I'll tell you what, just before we go on again, let me just give you guys a rundown of the TVs that we have been asked if we want to try out on the channel. And please let me know in the comment section whether you're watching this live if or if you're watching this on the uh, repeat, which one of these TVs you'd like to see next on the channel. So the options that I've got are, so Samsung's first, so the Samsung UE65AU9000, the Samsung UE60AU8000, Samsung QE55QATA, Samsung QE65QN, QN800 or the Samsung QE65QN85A. And then we've got a Sony XR55X90JU. And then finally the LGs, the LG OLED 65C1, which I'm going to be doing on the run up to Black Friday. And finally the LG 75 QNED or QNED 996PB. So that's a massive TV, 75 inches, and the biggest we've ever had on the channel is 65. So uh, I am quite tempted to try the 75 inch LG, but then I know a lot of people getting sick of me trying out LG TV. So I'm thinking maybe uh, one of these Samsungs or the Sony. So please let me know which one of those TVs that you think I should. Uh, have on the channel next. And also, if uh, again, if you are just joining us, let me just get it out. We will also be doing an unboxing of my partner's new phone, which is still wrapped up the Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G, so the uh, latest ones from Samsung. And uh, we're gonna be testing that out, as well as the new Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, which uh, I've designed myself. Not a lot of people know that you can design the watch with a different face and uh, strap, so you can have pretty much any combination you want. And I've designed my own, so uh, yeah. Watch out for that video where you can see what I've designed myself. So any other uh, questions coming through this? Excuse me, I've got um, my partner there. She's on the other microphone. Oh, I want if the you Z just, Fold. Uh, what's that? Oh, I want the Z Fold. Z, yeah, Z Fold. What's the cheapest TV you review? The cheapest one I think I've reviewed was, um, oh, it was one of the, one of the LGs, one at little sort of 55 inch. Don't I can't even remember me. now. I can't remember. I, I have asked for cheaper TVs, whether I'll be sent them or not. It's another thing, but I would like to test out some more sort of wallet friendly ones, you know, around the sort of five, six hundred pound mark. And I think the cheapest one I've reviewed before was around about seven or eight hundred pound mark. Mm. So yeah, we got my partner testing out some new microphones tonight. So uh, you'll hear her hopefully on her microphone. I've got my one just here. And uh, you may have seen these in the past where I've just had the one, but now we've got a set up with two of these. So my partner's Ooh, got one strapped to her. Ooh. So you can hear her talking as well as myself. We did have them before for a short time, but they uh, ended up breaking. We had some issues and we're just testing them out tonight, hopefully. They sound good, please let me know. If they sound right to you guys out there. And once else? again, just before I uh, finish it off, for anyone who's interested, tonight's beverage is Thatcher's Vintage Cider. And it is absolutely beautiful. I uh, highly recommend it. Martin, you're not going to see us getting a curry tonight, unfortunately. No, curry's off oh, We were going to show it, but the curry, cut, curry house is shut. Got it, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to put through an order for kebab instead. Yeah, so we've had to uh, yeah, go for a kebab instead. Wanted the curry, went, went to order it. Not taking orders. Got it, absolutely gutted. Uh, I'm just trying to find something else because I haven't got enough to make an order at the moment. Right, what else have we got on here? I'll tell you what, let's have a go on. I'll tell you what, I'll get a 7 up. Oh, now I've still got 50p to spend. Street oh, Fighter. Oh, press the wrong button. I ain't going to do very good on Street Fighter if I keep pressing the wrong buttons, am I? 
I so absolutely love this down the arcades. Did anyone used to Someone's play Street Fighter down the AMG arcade? Someone's asking about the and Evo video again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you watched last last week, but we got problems with the Evo at the moment, and uh, still waiting a sort of. How about some curry sauce? Curry sauce? Yeah. What, with a kebab? Mm, yeah. Nah. Kids can have some with the chips. I've got to spend fifty p in the curry sauce. What's is 50p. going on here? <laughs> right. Turbo, I think we go. Oh no. Right, ooh. Oh, this is silly. Oh, drink. I used to love this Danny Arcades. Don't know the moves now, though. Can't remember it now. Fight. Oh, that's it, scorched. How do I do with that? There we go, there we go. Oh, yay, there we go. That's it, out of it. Do you have a home gym? Yes, Be we have. Got with small. the. Uh, the actual Small little workout joystick bench. down the arcade. Can you show us how to clean TV screens? That's going to be another video. Yeah, I was going to say that's a video which yeah. uh, be going up sort of, again, I'm saving up all the good stuff for uh, sort of coming up to the Black Friday period because I know a lot of people will be buying TVs around then, be asking things like that. We're going to be doing one, how to handle an OLED TV. So just simply how to pick one up, you know, because they are quite fragile. Oh no, I'm gonna get wasted. How do I do it again? Here we go. Someone said that it's it'd be better the if they were wireless. It? Yeah, obviously. You're dead. That's right, it, that's, that's all um, all ordered. <laughs> Leon, do you like curry so sauce? We, so we've got, we got a lamb. So what has you got ordered? A large lamb donna with? Curry sauce, chips. Uh, hold on. Large lamb oh. donna with um, salad. Yeah. A curry sauce. A curry sauce. So you can have some curry sauce with some chips because I had to spend so much before they deliver it. And a curry sauce. And and some Seven Up. What a combination! <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> Almighty! Look at that toilet's on the ready. <laughs> it ruined me. Hey, strong. Send hello to Brazil. Hello, Hello Brazil. To Brazil. <laughs> I ain't strong, but yeah. Right. Oh no, I'll tell you what, no. No, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Where is it? Which TV to buy for 2021 or better wait till 2022? To be honest. You could always be waiting every year. I mean, if you want a TV say, now, you need a TV now, now isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's always going to be better the, the next year, the really. The only advice is maybe wait till Black Friday. Yeah. Because Black, you'll get a better deal. Black Friday deals. Yeah. Definitely. Or, saying that, if you if you want an LG OLED, then uh, if you can still find one, get an LG C10. They're normally be really good prices, and that is a cracking TV. Oh, let's get to the bottom of this cider. Mm. 50p for curry sauce is cheap. Where'd you order that from? I was, um, is it 50p, was it? It was 50p, yeah. It's not bad, is it? 50p for curry it's sauce? It's probably only a small pot, but yeah, it is pretty cheap, actually, because normally you can pay about £1.50 for a pot of curry sauce. If you go to KFC... Probably ain't curry sauce, probably just something scraped off the pavement. <laughs> How many viewers have we got at the moment then? 110. 110. And uh, hello if you have just recently joined us. And uh, it sorry. It occasionally drops down, but then it picks back up again. 
Oh, sorry, Amy, I forgot to answer this. Let's see just how long we're streaming for. Um, um, probably, we're, we're, probably not too much longer because yeah, the food's going to be coming. We've got our kebab on the way. So, what yeah, we'll thanks do, very much again for helping us out tonight. We'll we won't keep you too long. Is, well, when the kebab turns up, we'll put it on the plate and we'll show you what we got before we, we log off. Yeah, we'll show you guys the, uh, we'll tease you the, with the rotten food, food we've ordered. <laughs> we'll tease you with it, then oh. we'll log off and let you go and get your own. So not long, I expect it'll probably be 15 to 20 minutes before they come with it. I mean, yeah, if, I mean, Amy, if you've got to go, you know, yeah. we won't hold it against you. And thank you so much for helping us out. I really, really do appreciate it. It's so nice of you guys that, you know, you are willing to do these sort of things to basically complete strangers. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. What am I doing now? Oh, my okay, God. Okay, thank you. I'm happy for helping. It's nice to know that all the, uh, the the mics are working okay anyway. Talk, talk yeah. talking mics, let's have a look. Yeah, we're still all right on the battery. Talk, let's check that gimbal. I can moderate a little bit, but I don't really know what to do. So I can't, I can't really do it very well until I learn what to do, so. Uh, uh, do you want to go, Leon? No. No? I tell, what, I tell a game I really do fancy, Ken. Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy, I used to love that. Wonder Boy, Dragon's Trap, really good game that was. Oh, wasted again. Oh. And I'll tell you what, whilst we're on the subject of gaming, um, I don't know if everyone knows out there, but Call of Duty Vanguard is available this weekend. It's an open beta. So uh, if you've got a console that you can play it on, then uh, yeah, go fill your boots, download it and play it for free this weekend. Actually, I think it's actually been extended if what my son said is uh, correct. So uh, I don't know the exact date, but uh, yeah, go check that out. Do you want to have a go on this, mate? Have one more go. Go on, have a go on something. How about Super Punch Out? Go on, have a go on Super Punch Out. I tell you what we're going to do. We move the uh, camera around so you guys can get a nice view of it just there. Oh, if you can put the uh, tripod straight. Look at that. Now that's graphics, isn't it? Look at that. Mint. But I think these con old consoles are fun. I mean, again, if you're just joining us, we're on the uh, Nintendo Classic Mini. So uh, one of the cheapest consoles you can probably buy. Probably the, this whole console costs less than a PlayStation 5 game. And uh, we're playing on uh, probably the best gaming TV that you can buy for 2021. So uh, yeah, quite uh, a setup. The cheapest console, yet the most expensive TV. So what you guys been up to today? Let me know. Always interested to uh, hear what you've been doing. We ain't done much today, really, have we? Had a bit of a lazy day, really, isn't it? To, to Even though we shouldn't have been. No, we shouldn't have been. Because we really. got loads to yeah, do. Yeah, we got we had loads of stuff to do, but uh, I ended up just being lazy, to be honest. And uh, but I'll be paying for it later because we've still got videos to do, and I still got to work out and have me tea and God knows what else. So there yeah. you go. But no, we haven't actually been out anywhere today or done nothing special. But it's coming to that sort of time of year, um, you know, where the weather starts getting worse, the nights start drawing in. Before you know it, it'll be dark at 4.30 in the afternoon and everyone will be miserable. And it'll be miserable weather and, yeah. Hate it, hate it when it gets... I used to like the winter, but don't anymore. But, uh, saying that, we've just actually invested in some nice Christmas lights. And if you want to uh, see some really smart Christmas lights, I mean, I, I know it's a bit early for that, but... Uh, yeah, they're like programmable Christmas lights. You do know if I'm keeping that phone, those Christmas lights are going back. Well, I'll have to pay for them then, won't I? 
because I can't afford it. But all. as far as Christmas lights go, they're as good as you can get, ain't they? I think they are so. smart. You, you basically know, point, them, you yeah. point your, you put the lights on the tree, you point your phone at the tree with an app, and it knows where each bulb is, and then you can program it. It does all in different waves and this, that, and the other, all different colours sweeping through it, and that looks really smart. I mean, we've only watched the demo video of it, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like in person. And uh, we, we do that video way before Christmas, so if any of you guys want to pick up a set of what those sort of lights. What you again, Paul? It's the uh, LG G1 65 inch, or LG G1 OLED, Someone I asked, I never know which one's what, so I yeah. can't answer that question. No, she, in all fairness, so you are good at taking the OLEDs out in and out of the boxes. That's we, about all I am We've for. got it down to a T. I don't think anyone <laughs> could get an OLED in and out of the box, an LG OLED, quicker than us. I even joked the other day, I said, we should actually get Guinness Book of Records round here and we're, we're set a time for how quick we can unpack a brand new one out of the box and get it wall mounted. I yeah. reckon no one could beat us because we've done it so many times. We've got it down to a fine art now, haven't we? Could be a last, getting, get, getting Guinness, all the polystyrene round the right way and yeah. up and off. And yeah. Oh, I've had people contact me say they can't get the polystyrene back in the box and all that. They, you it's know. quite hard work lifting it out and putting it on the wall. Yeah, especially being it. You've got to put a, a cover over it, stop your finger marks getting all yeah, over being it. Being a fragile TV as well. You've got the lead hanging banana. down everywhere and that is. Yeah, it's like yeah, a bendy it's... banana, isn't it, if you get it on the edges? Yeah. Which you don't really want to do. Hence why we're going to be doing a video showing you to how to handle an OLED TV. Might seem obvious delicate. to some, but again, I'll get. Loads of people saying that, you know, they buy these TVs and they're scared to lift them out of the box, which don't blame them. I mean, when you actually look at it, you take the polystyrene off it and you see that it's like, you know, a couple of mil thick. You're like, oh, hello. It's, you know, it is proper you thin. You're in the wrong place and the thing will just Yeah, I mean, I can imagine people who've maybe it. ordered it online and not physically seen it. When they take off that wrap and they see how thin this TV is. Yeah, I can imagine it is a bit daunting taking it out of the box what for the first time. What other retro games have you got? Um, consoles? We've only got one other, haven't um, we? We've um, got... I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go get it. Um. So the other retro console that we have got is the PlayStation Classic. So uh, we'll be doing that next week. You work for that next week? I think we'll do that next weekend. If you'd like to see that, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section. And uh, again, if you just joined us, do us a favour if you're enjoying what we are doing here. Just hit that thumbs up button. It really helps promote the channel. Just reach up, touch that thumbs up button, and uh, hopefully other people will get to see this video. So uh, have a look around the back there. Oh, it's not very good quality, but... There are a few other games that are on there. And uh, my favourite on there would be Resident Evil Director's Cut. So uh, I think we'll do a live stream next week with that and we'll have a go on Resident Evil. So how far is the food away? Our lovely kebab. Shouldn't be too Nothing far. Nothing at the moment. Uh, no. Nothing to say it's on its way yet. Look at that. <laughs> it looks like you. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Just when I ain't shaved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's what you're going to look like soon, Paul. Yeah. It's all going downhill. Again, if... Uh, just move that over to the side there a minute. If you've recently joined us, uh, then we are going on holiday very soon and uh, I think we've come to the conclusion we're going to do some live streams when we're right there probably from a curry house we we'll do one um, we we'll do providing one providing the internet's good enough I'll, obviously. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do one from the villa as well we've got a lovely villa, villa we should be oh. okay with but curry house not 100% we're going to be able to do that yeah we, we, we do one from the villa sit sit around the pool on a nice day you know join us for a chat and that should be nice and maybe even do one that maybe we're, we're walking around um, the area as well so we yeah we're going to uh, Mallorca so some lovely beaches and all that and hopefully you guys can join us for that <laughs> Should be fun. Someone but, said, keep munching the kebabs and you will look like that. Yeah, yeah, probably will, yeah. They are very fat men, they are, they're not good. Yeah. 
That's one thing with my workout. People always come up to me in the streets and that. Oh, what's your diet? Oh, I bet you're well stripped. I bet it's all fish and just just chicken and all that. It's like no, I just eat any old crap. And that literally, I eat anything. Yeah, just you junk ain't food. Got no diet. No, at all, no, no. You? I just eat junk food all but the time. But then it's starting to show. Yeah, I am getting a little bit of the gut on me at this moment, <laughs> and it's going to get worse when I go on holiday. But I. The thing is, for me, I'm quite fortunate I've got that sort of physique that if I wanted to, if I just cut out the rubbish, boom, my stomach could be like an ironing board again within no time. I don't think it would take that, that so much right, effort. So they're saying it. You've been saying that for some time now. Yeah, but then I keep eating the rubbish as well. But, yeah. um, it's the I'm the sort age, of person, I do, I do like my food at the end of the day. It's the age. You get, you're um, going to yeah, start and I'm getting, getting older belly. and... I, you know, I try my best with other parts of my body, but when it comes to my food, I do like it a lot. So I think, oh, well, if I ain't got a, a six pack, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to impress people down the beach or anything like that anyway. So bugger it, I'd rather eat the uh, the junky food and just have a bit more of a, a dad stomach, should I say? And yeah, I mean, I, I could cut it all down, have a nice six pack if I really, really wanted to, but who am I going to be pressing with that really? So. Yeah, I'm happy Not with me. I'm I'm happy with the compromise. Don't worry about me. Working I'm, out the rest of my body. I'm I have a little bit a of a gut, but I get to eat all the nice foods. We go down McDonald's and all that, don't we? Like to say we have curries <laughs> and takeaways and all that junk. Saturday other night and half a tub of ice cream. Other people who work out to be there having a panic attack because they've even looked at a tub of ice cream. You know, these people, I mean, it's each to their own at the end of the day, but some people there, you know, have chicken without the skin on it and all this. Oh, no, not me, I have it all. Some put 37 and wanting to work out. Trouble is, ain't no good wanting, you need to do it. Yeah, and just you've get, got to really put get, your mind to it. Just because if you haven't got it. the mindset, you won't do it. Yeah. I'm like that, I need to start working out, I'm getting fat on my stomach. Yeah. My mum belly's starting to go Definitely, out bigger. It's, it's, and I you can. need it up there. That's, I can't that's, get it into my head to work out. I'm so, that's the main thing, it. getting it in your head. Because if you if you're not got the right attitude in your head, you ain't you just ain't going to succeed at the end of the day. If you've got the determination, you can pull anything off. And I wouldn't say anyone's ever too old to do it either. I mean, no. Do you know what I mean, look well, at we've some, seen older look, blokes that are muscly, haven't we? Oh yeah. I mean, do you look at someone like? I mean, I know he's like the extreme still, but look at someone like Arnie. How old is Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. now? And he's he's still got a better body than a lot of bloody teenagers and you know people in their 20s or whatever you know so uh yeah as long as you put the effort in you can pretty much achieve what you want how's the game going is it good it's when you when you start figuring out your moves it is good is that kebab on the way yet come on I'm i feel like i'm dying of uh, hunger i've got my phones on mute but no i haven't had nothing we, I think we'll have to cut it off in a minute if, if we're not getting anything coming through. As uh, It's not fair on uh, Amy, though, who's uh, elected to be the moderator tonight to help us out because we had a lot of people or person spamming the channel. Has it been a lot coming through or anything like that? No, it's, it seems to have calmed down now. I so, think uh, yeah, we had an influx at the start. Again, I'm guessing it was somebody who just doesn't like me or the channel. The thing um, is, the thing that's worrying, it was so many different usernames. Yeah, well, it's, it could be bots or something like that yeah. doing it. Yeah, it's just, just pouring through. So, you know, trying to make it almost unreadable. But no, we persevered. And thanks to Amy, she helped us out there and uh, done away with those bots or whoever is behind it. And uh, yeah. We soldiered on through, and now we can uh, just enjoy the live stream. So let's just move this back round one more time. There we go. That's all right. Should we have another go on Mario? Go on, let's have one. Let's have one more go on Mario Kart. Come on, I do like Mario Kart. Go on and pick up your controller then. Stick to game. the gang, love your videos. Oh, legs coming off me tri off me tripod there. <laughs> it's gone on limp, a limp leg. Oh blood! Oh, oh dear, now you've knocked the controller. Drop the controller. It's all going wrong. How are we doing on the battery life on everything? No, it all looks good. I think. Right, Tio. Two player, no. Mario Kart GP, 100cc, yes. 
Still the same, be Mario. What did you do with the A1 and B1? Did you sell them on? That's one to be sent back, wasn't it? Yeah, those were just on loan from Box. So I just had those for a short period of time. They, wasn't mine. they weren't mine to keep, should I, I say. I didn't think they were the... Um, um, the only 2021 yeah. TV that I've got that is mine is the G1. We still got the uh, 2020 C1. I don't know if you can see that just down the bottom there. Doing a few videos between the two. Uh, is burning still an issue with the current OLEDs? Um, well, is see, it an nothing, issue? Nothing's guaranteed, is no, it? No, I mean, uh, yes, you potentially you could get burning. Chances are probably not. The depending average person, on what you watch, yeah, really. average person probably yeah. won't have any issues with burning. The newer models are far superior to uh, what they were a few years back. They've got a lot more um, anti-burning prevention features, so like screen shift, larger red sub pixel. How much was this TV? And uh, so on and so forth. Um, What's that, sorry? How much was this TV? This TV, um, well, I, th I can't remember the full price on this one, if I'm honest. Not cheap, I'll give you that. Um, to be honest, I don't know. Are you selling the C1? Selling the C1? I've not yeah. even tested a C1, so, uh, or if they mean the C10. Yes, I will be selling the C10. I did say C10, didn't I? I didn't say C1. Well, I didn't make a mistake, did I? So, yeah, this one down the bottom, I will be... Oh, let go of the controller there. I will be selling eventually. So I expect what I will do be some comparison videos. Someone said, do you get any screen flickering on YouTube, like... Artifact when it's on lower resolution of 480p? Um, to be honest, I can't say I've taken much notice because I don't generally watch low resolution content on YouTube. It's normally higher resolution stuff. So uh, I'd, it'd, be, it'd be something I'd have to test. I need a cheap budget, but a good TV for my PS5. Any help would be great. Um, it all depends what you call budget. I mean, uh, well, yeah, what, what is your budget? I mean, to a millionaire, um, like, sort of four grand's probably a budget TV, I'm but... I'm presuming they mean quite cheap. Yeah. Um, going on what most people normally buy, but... Um, again, if you want to take full advantage of the PlayStation, look for something. It's HDMI 2.1. I know LG, some of their cheaper TVs in the range have that, so maybe take a look at them. Because I know last year they were doing the cheapest... 800. Is that pounds? Yeah, is that pounds? Yeah, and is that pounds? Yeah, or la like, yeah last year, I think LG, I can't even remember, Nano 86, I think it was, was the cheapest TV with HDMI 2.1 on it. And uh, in all fairness, when it comes to sort of gaming stuff, LG seemed to be right up there, making sure that the TV's got VRR, FreeSync, G-Sync, all that sort of stuff included. So yeah, maybe check out those. No. Oh, there what? we go. There's a knock at the door. It's a knock at the door. I, I didn't what... even have no update to say it was coming. Well, like... Just walk into the door now. Get, get me food. Looks like the kebab here. Hiya. Hi. That's great. Thanks well, very much. I Cheers. No update. Strange. There we go. So, did you order a bottle? Or... Yeah. <laughs> so. We ain't going to show them in the bags, is it? I can show them the fanta. It's not a Fanta. Oh, Fanta. I'm thinking it's Fanta. I Seven don't know. Fanta is so, orange. Oh, not... sugar free? Oh, I didn't. I didn't sugar ask, free? I didn't ask for sugar free. Mind you, I think 7 up, you can only buy sugar free these days, can't you? And the kebabs in a bag. What's your curry sauce? Don't want that going all over the carpet. How much was it? 50p? 50p. Oh, it's it only is, a tiny one. It is very small. I said it would be like tiny. Oh, mic's going all over the place. Oh, this is like a food review now. <laughs> it's a bit of everything on this channel. Oh, nice and thick there. Oh, oh that looks like baby poo. <laughs> Let's try a bit of that. It tastes right. 
That's right for 50p. So next is the kebabs. Do you want to go and sort them out or shall I go and sort them out? You quickly? go and sort them out. Right then. So if you want to uh, carry on with the game, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put my microphone down there. Quickly. How much for the baby poo? 50p? <laughs> That's probably why it's cheap. <laughs> We've done them a favour by taking it off the hands. playing with on your own now. Dad's stuck at the start line. <laughs> I think you're going to win that race, Leon. <laughs> I've got a funny feeling you're going to uh, win that race. Wait, no, I'm sixth place. That's on the wonk, in it? Why does that tripod look like it's sideways? Oh, it probably is a bit. I can't see it on the yeah, screen, but it looks it, like that. It, yeah, it's a bit sideways. Right, so first up, Thank you, Jim. I don't think I'm funny, but... So uh, we got the portion chips there. That's a fair big portion chips. That's in a big uh, box there. Cost £1.50 for a small tub of my local chippy. And then the star of the show, In the all kebab. fairness, that is cheap for 50p. Normally when we buy curry sauce or anything like that, it is normally about 150 do you put any salt on that? Pig's eyebrows, that. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm dropping a salad everywhere. Hi, Jack. Bit late for you, isn't it, this time of night? You should be in bed. <laughs> mm, that's right. I've just dropped salad everywhere. Out, you what? Give Jack a shout out. Hello to Jack. <laughs> How did you enjoy Alton Towers? <laughs> right, let's pick up some bits of onion and lettuce and <laughs> slimy. Right. I play. Time for my I want Sam. I want Sam. Right, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to wrap this up now because I'm going to have me tea at I loved it, coming up to quarter past 11. We're glad you liked it, Jack. Oh, pick a. Pick. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's mommy, there's me tea. Donation. Oh. Pick O oh, the day. Who's that giving is, us? Is that a full review or just an unboxing? Of what? What, the tea? Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for those donation. Oh, that's nice. Tomorrow's nice. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, you have a good nice night. Yeah, thank um, you very much, Amy, for helping us out. I'll give you a bit of me kebab if uh, you could take it, but... <laughs> oh, that is nice. Bit cold, though, now, even though it can buy car. You're just down the road as well. So, yeah, uh, away, taste no. good, I'll give it probably... Seven and a half, temperature, probably only about a four. The chips are pretty hot. Yeah. Feel the heat coming off those. Let's try a couple of the chips. Bit of a food review going on here. <laughs> yeah, all right, could do it a bit of salt. See you next time, bye. So uh, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's a bit of kebab. Next week, we get in early and we get the curry. And we're definitely going to have a curry live from Mallorca as well. That'd be good. Yeah, Mallorca. We are not going to go without a curry in Mallorca. Watch that. I watch that kebab on my iPad. I personally don't like curries myself, but my partner and does. And we're going to have and my um, daughter does. chicken tikka where it comes out on a sizzling Yum. sort of... What is it? It's like a like slate, isn't it? It's like a hot plate kind of yeah, thing, isn't it? Yeah, that looks really nice, doesn't it? All That's sizzling the point they're still doing that, of course. So, yeah. So anyway, I think we... Uh, yeah, who was it you sent through the donation again? Sorry, just make sure I said... We'll just call him Pick. Pick, did you say? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. And um, what did I answer the question? I can't remember. I can't keep up with what we're doing here now. Because he said about um, uh, the you, unboxing. Oh, yeah, that I was it. I think he's talking about Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, right, I think we best wrap it up. Oh, for, Forget about the curry sauce. Just try one more bit of that. That's really nice, that. Look how thick that is. Look at that. Oh, blooming hell. Mmm. That's well thick. Well, it looks wrong, but it is nice. Yeah, I'll dip a chip in. Dip a chip in. Go on. <laughs> I 
Yeah, spot on that. And uh, oh, another bit. all out of the drink as well. So anyway, we're gonna wrap it up now. And uh, once again, thank you very much for joining us this evening. And uh, if you have enjoyed this live stream, please just reach up, it only takes a second. Hit that thumbs up button, really makes a big difference to the channel. And uh, hopefully we're, well, catch you guys next week where we will try out, as promised, the classic PlayStation. And uh, hopefully you can join us for that. So thanks very much for joining us. And hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you to all our people that yeah, made money yeah, yeah, the yeah. channel. Thanks so much for everyone who donated to the channel tonight and once again to Amy for helping us out with uh, the live chat. So uh, yeah, thanks very much and hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.